Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Yes, sir. We are live on YouTube now, sir. Okay. So, uh, let's start. Uh, welcome you all, uh, dear participants, students and uh, friends. Uh, we welcome you to the live session for the course on developing soft skills and personality. So, this live session is uh, just kept before the examination so that if you have some doubts, uh, you can ask us. And based on some of the frequently asked questions, which you have put in the forum, which you have put in the Excel sheet that was shared with you. So we will start responding to that. Then we will take the questions on Excel and then we'll go to the one on YouTube. So before I start, let me introduce uh, our team. You know uh, myself, uh, Dr. Ravichandran. And then we have uh, Mr. Murali Krishnan, uh, who completely takes care of the technical part. And then uh, two of my uh, research scholars who are also teaching assistants uh, to this course. One is Abhirami and Bandana. You can all see their name and uh, they are there. And we are going to respond to all your uh, queries. And as I said, we have already planned. We'll start with the frequently asked ones. Murli will address all the technical uh, related questions, exam related ones. And then I'll just give some general brief. And then Abhirami Bandana will also uh, talk about frequently asked ones. Then we go to the Excel and then we come to the YouTube ones also. Yeah. Uh, Murli, you can start. Yes, sir. Uh, participants, there are a few questions which are asked repeatedly in the discussion forum as well as in the Google uh, form which we floated last week. So I'm going to respond to those questions one by one. Uh, Murli, the can the uh, audio be enhanced? Your audio a little yeah. bit. Right. Is it okay now, sir? Is it ah, okay? Yeah, yeah, better, better. Yeah, please. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, move near to the mic a little bit and then speak. Fine, fine, fine. Okay. Sure, sir. Uh, so the first question is, when the hall ticket will be issued? Um, so I contacted IETM uh, Madras team today morning and they, and they said that they already started releasing it in batches. So everyone should get their hall tickets by tonight. So please check your emails frequently and then uh, by tonight it will be up and live. You can download it and um, note down all the exam centers, uh, other things in that uh, hall ticket. And uh, the second question is, any change in the exam date is possible? Exam date is fixed. So it is on next Sunday, that is 24th of September. So it cannot be changed. So you should attend on that particular day. And um, the next question is, can I cancel and get refund now? It is not possible uh, to cancel the examination now. Uh, you can attend the examination or in some circumstances, if you are unable to attend, uh, then you won't get any refund at all. The next question is, uh, essay questions, essay type questions will be asked in the examination or not. Uh, only objective type questions, which are similar to the questions that are asked in the assignment, no, it will be asked. No essay type questions will be asked. And then uh, next question is, um, whether the MCQs has a partial marking scheme? Yes, a partial mark is allotted to the correct answer. Uh, even if you make, uh, even if you select one wrong answer, um, you won't get any marks at all. Like similar to the assignment pattern uh, in the final examination will also be followed. Then uh, next question is, um, will wrong answers carry negative marks? No, no negative marks for the wrong answers. Uh, the next question is, what to carry for the NPTEL final examination? Uh, so, one need to carry uh, the hall ticket issued by the NPTEL and the original ID card issued by the government of India. Uh, say, for instance, driving license or PAN card, you can carry it. And then uh, even watches, watches are not allowed. Uh, drinking water bottle alone is allowed. Um, make sure you keep all your valuable stuffs uh, at the gate itself. There will be a counter where you have to pay like 30 to 50 rupees. It depends upon uh, center to center. You have to pay that amount and then uh, keep your valuable stuff in that counter and then get inside. Um, and then the next question is, 
uh, what if there is an error in the hall ticket, like um, spelling mistakes, date of birth? So no need to worry on those issues. There will be an error log sheet uh, in the examination center. You need to write down all those things and then you can enter the examination. Uh, so don't, don't worry on the errors which are um, uh, in the hall tickets. And then uh, the other question is, um, I submitted only uh, two assignments or three assignments. Will I be eligible to appear for the examination? Yes, you are eligible for the uh, eligible to write the examination um, irrespective of submitting the number of assignments. Uh, and then um, for getting the cer certificate alone, you need to uh, meet the minimum criteria. I'll just show you an Excel document where uh, the score calculation are, are mentioned and then it will be easy to follow. Uh, from that Excel document. Just give me a minute. And then um, suppose if I miss the examination, will my assignment scores will be carried forward for the next year? No, it will not be carried carry forward. You need to again enroll and register for the examination and then submit all the assignments. And then um, when the results will be published, uh, hopefully by the uh, mid of October, uh, the results will be published. And then, so Murli, some also want to know whether they can change the center. No, sir, it is not possible now, sir. It is not possible. Uh, yeah. Okay. All the, everything is generated now. Now nothing is possible, sir. They have to, you know, uh, whatever the uh, center name given in the hall ticket, they need to go to that particular place. Yeah, someone has asked the evening timing. Is it 12 o'clock? Uh, no, sir. Actually, morning session starts from 9 to 12, sir. And then the entry is from 8 o'clock in the morning. And okay. the second session um, examination is from 2 to 5, 5 o'clock. And uh, the entry uh, timing is 1 p.m. From 1 p.m., they can uh, enter the examination center. Okay. And the breakup of our uh, questions out of 100. So uh, that, it, that I will just share the Excel sheet. Yeah, so just yeah. Yeah. And then one more question is when the certificate will be issued. Uh, hopefully by the end of October, soft copies um, will be generated and it will be, and it will be shared with the successful candidates. So these are the frequently asked questions that I uh, noticed. And let me just share the screen, um, which is having some calculations, like how to calculate the assignment scores from your end itself, because many are having doubts, like they have submitted only very few, whether they are- Yeah, yeah, to... okay. Like, say, I just uh, taken two, two students' um, marks. You can see here, uh, there are eight assignments. And then logic is 25 percentage, best of six out of eight assignments from the assignments we'll take. So this is the uh, score of student one. He has scored 50, 90, 70, 100, 90, 80, 80, and 60. So six out of eight will be taken from this score. So let's say th this 50 and 60, they are very less compared to these scores. So only the um, from the uh, second column, second row, second row to seventh row, it will be taken. You can see the calculation here. So uh, the sum of these numbers divided by six into 0.25. So he is getting 21.25. And the criteria, criteria minimum criteria is 10 out of 25 percentage. So it is above the 10. So it is he is eligible for the certificate provided he clear the final examination. Uh, and whereas the student two, you can see he did not submit few assignments. So I've taken these four assignments and divided by six into 0.25, 14.16 is getting, it is about 10. So he's also eligible for the um, certificate examination, provided he has to score uh, above 30, 30 and above in the final examination. So you can see here the criteria to clear the examination, one has to score a minimum of 10 out of 25 percentage in the assignment and 30 out of 75 percentage in the final examination. So put together 25 percentage assignment plus 75 percentage uh, will be calculated and then uh, shown in the certificate. So this is the logic which you are using. So using this method, you can calculate and see, you know, check for yourself. And irrespective of submitting the assignments, you can come to the examination center and write the examination. Uh, so these are all the questions, uh, uh, commonly asked questions. Yeah, uh, there is one, uh, like, let us look at the chat also. Right, sir. Uh, and uh, you can now uh, stop sc sharing the screen. Right, sir. And uh, let us, like, quickly look at it and then go to the other ones. Yeah. Uh, uh, look at this from uh, uh, Priya Balan. I got hall ticket uh, and it is 23rd September Saturday afternoon. Please confirm whether it is 24 or 23rd. I think... For some students, uh, like uh, 
in in our exam since there are uh, more people maybe they have created an additional day so maybe you confirm this and then you put it in an the announcement sure so i'll just check with iit team office tonight and ha, 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 ha. so most know. likely so those who have got 23rd uh, there is no error so it is uh, 23rd only so they have advanced it instead of putting you in very far off uh, distant place maybe they are trying to accommodate you uh, so it's not an issue so you go with what is given in the one and uh, murli will also check it and put it in the announcement uh, today okay you can also uh, frequently come to the announcement uh, tomorrow morning definitely i will put it sir because ha, 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 ha. yeah so uh, those who have not received hall ticket uh, murli what is the date uh, they can expect by tonight sir by tonight we are uh, um, mailing it to the students in batches So okay okay so maximum by tonight they will get it Definitely and tomorrow so. morning you will confirm the exam date the additional exam date already you confirmed the 24th exam date okay. right sir right sir i will confirm so, it can understand so then there is uh, anita saying really enjoyed the course uh, thank you so much completed all the assignments done well practicing win win situation in all events okay good Uh, so this one we can respond uh, again anita has asked how many msq mcq uh, true or false question at exam so uh, about the exam first of all many have uh, asked questions so since this is a direct one the total number of questions are for 100 okay so i think we have split uh, uh, it will start with mcq Uh, no i think we we will start with msq right msq yes sir msq 40. and it's first 40 msq then next 40 mcq and the last 20 will be true or false okay so this is just exactly like what you have been doing for your assignments so there is no change for assignments you are doing 10 10 5 so 10 msq 10 mcq and 5 true or false so four times more and three hours time is given to you the time will be more than sufficient even if you slowly think and respond and uh, uh, some people have also asked some tips i am combining some tips then and there also there is no race so once you have decided to give this exam and once you are going to the hall center utilize the three hours time that is given to you it might be possible that some of you are so thorough that you may Uh, answer everything so quickly and then uh, try to leave the hall uh, in 40 minutes one hour also i would rather say just read once again the questions recheck the answers double check the answers before you submit it it is possible that even a question that you do not know seemingly if you sit for some time think over it you may get it why the second tip is that 50% of questions which you have done already in assignments are likely to be repeated not exactly in the same way it has been asked but it will be in the form of recalling okay so if you have answered it even if you have not answered all the assignment once just go check all the assignment answers this is the best way to revise your uh, exam check all the assignment answers that you have given once okay then go to the transcripts okay or if you are uh, okay with the ppt fine if you have enough time you watch all the videos there is no need to read anything extra in the uh, excel sheet many of you have asked what extra information i should uh, gather what are the books that i should be reading nothing you need to read not even the reference materials which we have given the reference materials which are given are for your reference for developing you overall in your lifetime not for the exam as such okay so there is no descriptive so there is no extra reading and adding extra points all the questions are already decided all the questions are already in the form of mcq msq and true or false no out of syllabus question will come all the questions are based on the transcripts you don't have to check google you don't have to go to any online youtube sources there are some uh, coaching centers who are putting some answers which are sometimes mostly wrong 
you don't have to do anything just go back to our assignments recheck all the assignments go back to the transcripts okay and think introspect on whatever we have discussed okay because we are going to give you some situation also already we have given you some situations but we will give you different situations so it is just applying the concepts if you tell me later that uh, chat gpt or in google this is the answer it is not going to be validated because we are trying to see whether you have understood our course our lessons and we have experientially learned this course we are not interested in knowing what other people are saying about certain things okay because what we want you to learn are enough given in the form of transcript the form of video and just cover that that is enough for scoring 100 out of 100 in this exam okay now uh, going very quickly to other uh, in chat before we come to other uh, uh, common questions uh, already murli said about this uh, siddharth is asking how to calculate already murli showed you the excel sheet in case some of you join late you can always go back to the youtube link that is given and it's recorded and you can see from the beginning also so uh, instead of repeating what we are saying already we will go to new ones so even if you have submitted less assignments according to the equation that murli showed it's not an issue okay uh, aryan is asking what is the full form of msq full form of msq is multiple sequence question what does it mean mcq is multiple choice in multiple choice there is only one single answer in msq more than one answer is possible a sequence of answer is possible so suppose we are giving you six options all the six options are also possible five are possible four are possible three are possible two are possible one is not possible in msq because they are already asked in mcq so we are very carefully sorted out so minimum two answers two six answers are possible in msq so that you be very careful about the question itself will give you clue by asking which one of the following identify one of the following in mcq but if you go to msq it will be in plural form which are the following identify those aspects identify those people who are doing this so the question will be in plural form answers are required in plural form more than two or at least two so by that you can understand it is msq okay uh, uh, again uh, mohammed ayan is saying i have not all watched all the videos uh, am i able to get see the learning mode is in three ways one you can watch the videos Second is you can actually go to the transcripts. If you have not watched the videos, you didn't get time, you go to the transcripts and even the PowerPoint materials are also good enough, but more explanations are given in the transcript. So you will qualify for the certificate, not based on whether you have watched the video or transcript, but what you have learned from them. Okay, so uh, that is it. And uh, uh, Vincent is saying, can we change answers before pressing submit button? Yes, you can, right, Murli? You'll be able to say something, yeah. Yes, sir, students can uh, always come and change uh, the uh, uh -huh. selected. Uh -huh. uh, Murli, Abhirami and Vandana, you keep yours uh, uh, unmuted uh, so that you can just join quickly. So right. uh, only thing before you submit it, you are allowed to change it multiple number of times, okay? Uh, but that doesn't mean you keep doing it all the time, just you if you give the answer take one quick review instead of leave the hall in a hurry just take a look at the answers twice and then you submit it because since we are repeating some of the questions there is a decent possibility that you will be able to get the answer even if you have not uh, read the answer based on your answers to the assignment questions where we have given the correct answers so if you even remember that, you'll be able to answer uh, some. Okay, and then uh, uh, Sanchita is asking, sir, do we need to learn all quotes by all authors? So you don't have to le uh, learn all quotes by all authors. The quote, at least you should be able to remember. For example, 
helping hands are better than praying lips. Who else other than Mother Teresa can say? Okay. So you should be able to link the concept with the author. And we will either give you the concept of the quote or the author. But maximum we have tried to apply the quote to a situation. So even the same quote, helping hands are better than praying lips, means. So we may give you four or five options. Okay. And then you identify the right option. So you don't have to mug up anything, but you have to understand what is meant by those words. Uh, Raushan says, sir, I have really enjoyed the course, really improved my day-to-day -day life. Thank you. I have a question. How can I improve my fear of stage? Next question is, how can I make casual friend fast? Okay. Uh, the course is not ending now. There is one more sequence uh, to this course, enhancing soft skills and personality. We are covering certain aspects which are not covered here, where we are talking more about public speaking, overcoming your fear, okay, and then developing human relationships. All are covered in that. I would recommend you to do that. But very quickly, uh, to answer your question, uh, overcoming stage fear, first is practice, okay. Entire speech, you write it. Practice, practice, practice. Practice it in a timed manner. And go to the place where you are supposed to give it one day before and try to practice it exactly on the stage where you are going to give. And the third one is like, do the thing that you most want, uh, most fear. For example, if you are afraid of darkness, walk in darkness. So if you are afraid of giving a speech, try to give similar speeches before other people, before you actually come to the stage. Okay, so these quick tips will help you. And then... Uh, 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 Anita is asking, already she has completed the course on enhancement of soft skills. So that is fine. So currently we are not offering other courses, but once we are offering, you will be the first ones to be emailed and uh, informed. Okay. And uh, uh, Chandana says, uh, uh, your explanation towards all uh, queries are more understandable. How to face the exam? Give any suggestions. So I've been uh, giving the suggestions to face the exam. As I said, go through the transcripts once again. Go through all the assignment answers once again. Uh, what uh, this uh, Abdul is asking, what is 10 out of 25 marks in assignment? It means like uh, you don't have to score full 25. If you score minimum 10, in assignments, all the assignments put together, that is six out of eight assignments put together, plus 30 marks out of 100 marks. So both together, minimum if you score 40 together, so you'll be able to get the certificate. Okay. So Anshika, uh, on the portal, it's written that essay type questions may come. Is there any such possibility? See, the portal has a, a general thing for all ones, so don't get confused. You have been trained the way exam will be there from the beginning through our assignments. No descriptive at all. Okay, you will you will not use your pen or pencil. You will just use the mouse and then click it. Nothing else. You don't even need any writing and all that. It's all there in the screen itself. Okay. And then Vagish, uh, is language a barrier in effective communication? Uh, depending on... Uh, uh, whether you are using the language effectively or not. So we have discussed like language can be a barrier. There are various aspects of barrier, for example, semantic barrier. So suppose I uh, uh, used to use a word serendipity in a context and you are not able to understand what is that word. So you will think the word means pity, something like sympathy, but the word actually means accidental discovery. So there is a possibility when someone is using a word which you, you do not understand, there is this possibility of language causing a barrier. So there are other aspects of it which I have also discussed, but very quickly to answer you, yes, it can be a barrier and you have to be extremely careful. So uh, that's where we have discussed about what makes communication and effective communication. To be an effective communicator, you have to be extremely careful with what is considered synonyms, but they are not actually synonyms. So you have to be very accurate in using some of the words. Okay. And then uh, 
Usma uh, getting 80 percentage in all. Yeah, that's an excellent percentage. You should try to top the exam and be in the 5 percent. Uh, Daria is also saying wanted to join enhancing soft skills, but it wasn't available during the time of enrollment also. So yes, uh, it will be available next time. After this course is completed, within a gap of one month, they will announce the uh, release of the course. Okay. Uh, K. Radha has asked a very important question. Is there negative marks? There is no negative marks. Okay. There is no negative marks, but partial marking is there, which uh, Morley explained to you. In the multiple sequence answers, if there are four right answers, if you answered only three, uh, you will not be able to get full marks. Okay. And if you answer three plus one wrong answer, then it will be treated wrong answer. That's correct, Murali. Uh, sir, if there are, uh, like, say, for instance, five uh, options, yeah. and out of five options, three are correct. If yeah. they select even one correct answer, they will get partial marking. Uh, that is what, like, out of three, one, two, three, whatever mm -hmm. they choose, they will get some marks. They will get some marks. But if they but, select one, even one, uh -huh. answer, they uh -huh. won't get any marks at uh -huh. all. That's the logic so, in the MSQ question, sir. So, if you are, so in multiple sequence, the tip will be, if you are not sure of some answer, at least you leave it and choose the one that you are very sure of. At least you will get some partial markings. No negative mark. So that you, many are asking, Mohuk is also asking whether any negative mark. And then there's a question from Dr. Kuheli. Uh, greetings from Nehu. Excellent course. Very practically, you have explained all aspects that reflects on our personality. Thank you. Most importantly, you have maintained the pace of delivery important for viewers understanding in an online platform. Thank you. Yeah, ma'am, you are also there online. You want to ask anything else other than this? No, sir. Thank you so much because uh, uh, yeah. I'm from an in university. So just because of my curiosity, I wanted to attend the course, but and I found it extremely helpful to the type of working and the setup that we are. It was very practically. So I'm just, I want to express my sincere thanks to you and your entire team. Okay. So we are really uh, privileged to have uh, people like you. Uh, we wish that you join for our other course also. Enhancing. Yes, sure, sir. Thank you, sir. And that's slightly advanced and you will enjoy that much more than uh, this course also. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. So you have any questions? Sir, nothing as such, but only... Uh, uh, when it comes to dealing with people, like sometimes we have encountered situations wherein we find people who are very loud when it comes to official dealings. So in such situations, how to keep our, our temperament at, at check? Because as human, we also tend to lose our cool. So many a times we have cried, but just a thought if you can give some tips. Actually, uh... I'm not sure uh, whether here or in enhancing soft skills, there's a uh, huge discussion on uh, anger management. Okay. So just to quickly tell you, someone is loud, literally loud. Okay. Like shouting at you or, or talking in a provoking manner. The voice is very high. A quick way to bring that person down is being very soft. Okay. Although it's very difficult. Your tone has to be very soft. Your tone has to be very cool. That will actually uh, disturb the other people who are angry. They will wonder like, I'm shouting and how could this person be so cool? Am I wrong? Okay, You will make the person doubt themselves. Just be cool, be calm, smiling. And uh, there are some attributes to things like uh, breathing techniques, doing yoga, keeping your mind calm. So uh, that will also help you to keep your cool. But in, in case of situation where you are about to express your anger, they say like count 10. Okay, so don't, don't express it, like delay it. And especially if it has happened to be your higher authority or people in a higher position, uh, always the boss is likely to be correct. And there's no point in expressing the anger. But having said that, we also discuss about what Aristotle talks about anger. He says like, you should show anger, but in the right way, right manner, with the right person at the right time. Okay. And you don't have to all the time shout. Sometimes not talking to the person will show that you are angry. 
sometimes doing like for example uh, the japanese workers were uh, going on a strike like to express their anger about uh, the less amount that was given to them okay but they were not shouting they were not uh, 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 doing any slogans or they are not burning anything all holidays they were overworking and they are producing more for the company if they produce more for the company the company has to sell it obviously for less price and obviously they will go on a loss so they have to come down and then listen to them so there is always a best way to express your anger and uh, to start it just stay calm and then never ever increase your tone it will escalate the situation yeah thank you thank you, thank you sir yeah so uh, uh aryan is asking will receive e certificate on email uh, yes you will get it on uh, email if i print the digital certificate will it be considered valid only i think they are giving the digital one right yes uh, like uh, since uh, 2020 stopped issuing yeah. hot copies of the certificate and yeah. uh, the soft copies which will have qr code so it is a unique code related to your certificate so you can take a print out and uh, even the soft copies can be mailed to yeah. the potential employers also uh, since there are qr codes they can scan and uh, check the validity uh, so, so uh, having said this uh, there is also another question in the excel sheet like uh, what is the use of npital course in general okay so there are people if you see those who have done uh, like 20 npital courses 25 in petal courses so uh, whether it is doing photography or learning some dance or learning a new program from computer so people are using it today even for uh, uh, doing gate exam uh, competitive exams there are uh, courses available through in petal so they are it's free available for you and then there is a good interactive program in most of the courses there is a uh, give and take but mostly it is from our side it's just giving you the information freely and then the most relevant information is given and experiential learning is done but after doing that npital has two important ones one is this degree certificate where freshers can always show like uh, i i myself have sat in many interviews where people have shown my own course certificates as kind of experience in teaching communication and soft skills so npital certificates have huge validity because they are all taught by selected people from iits and other reputed institutes so uh, like uh, some of you find the assignments difficult some of you find it not so difficult but overall the standard is maintained very high okay so when people know that you got a good score in this uh, course they also understand that you have done a good job so the certificate itself will add to your cv apart from that if there are teaching faculty one week faculty development program okay equivalent certificate is given to you so you have to after completing after the successful getting of the course certificate then you will apply and then you will be able to get this ftp certificate also so there is a learning process and then there is this certificate that is also going to get you extra benefits so that is also there okay uh, and namya what is meant by 70% of uh, 75% of exam marks namya out of 100 75% so suppose out of 100 hypothetically you scored 100 marks 75 will be taken and let us say 25 marks from the assignments if you have scored 25 your actual score will be 75 plus 25 and 100 so assignments are given 25% weightage that is what is suggested okay uh, so abdul is asking if in msq answer the answer is 1 2 3 but we had chose 1 2 and 4 so will we get marks or zero uh, abdul you will get zero we explained that already to you but if you didn't answer that four if you answered only one two you will get at least some marks for that okay and uh, you will receive the nakshatra is asking where i will get the e certificate you will get it on the email only uh, hard copy is not possible you have to get it copied on a good 
cardboard material so that you can maintain it as a certificate. That is up to you. But otherwise, uh, today the e-certificates themselves are getting uploaded to many of the online application uh, forums. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, Sanchita is asking, are you allowed to wear watches? I think they will allow only uh, this uh, old analog type. The digital type will not be allowed, but to be on the safe side, the instruction may say like you should not use watch at all. Right, Murli, you are about to say that. Yes, sir, exactly, sir. Um, because in the past, uh, in in some centers, no, sir, they, they are very strict and they did not uh, even uh, allow uh, watches, irrespective of analog or digital, they did not allow at all. Yeah. So, uh, Mohammed Ayan is saying collaborate with Jamia Milia and New Delhi and give some courses. Yes, sir. thank you. There are many, we have many ideas already. We will try to look into it. So, will marks and grades be reflected in the certificate, uh, Murli? Yes, sir. Yeah. Score will be um, shown in the certificate. Because uh, there is this top five score and then there is uh, elite, there is gold medal, various aspects are there. So, marks will be shown. And the category will be mentioned accordingly. Yes, sir. The highest is the elite gold, where uh, one has to score above 90. And um, the students can uh, download the certificates uh, from their candidate login itself. Uh, and then uh, someone has asked, what is the chances of uh, getting a good job using NPTEL courses? Uh, uh, during the pandemic, uh, uh, he or she is saying that uh, they started it. Actually, during the pandemic only, NPTEL became so valid. Uh, I could see uh, when we are going for an interview to even promote two teachers, one teacher who sat in the pandemic and did nothing, another teacher shows two NPTEL courses done, three NPTEL courses done. Obviously, the other teacher is considered doing something very active and interest, interested in developing herself and gets promoted. So it's not only pandemic, like uh, try to do as many courses as possible. For us, we will also tell you, like, do the enhancing soft skills course also, which will be uh, announced in December. Okay. Uh, uh, Mid-November, sir. Mid-November, it will be... Mid-November, okay. okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But January, the course will start. Jan or February, sir. Ah, okay. So, again, uh, uh, there is uh, Nursing Rao also is asking, if I mark two wrong answers, what will be uh, the marks? Actually... Uh, you will get zero, sir. So I think you, you are also online, right? If you want to ask it directly also, you can ask. So you uh, you will get zero if you choose two wrong, wrong answers. Okay, so you should not choose wrong answers. But if you are able to choose less correct answers, you will get some partial marks for that. Some have already answered it. So exam would be in the form of MCQs. Uh, Pranjali, already we explained at the beginning. You, I suggest you go back to the video once. Exam will have MSQ, MCQ, and true or false. MSQ also we explained in detail, multiple sequence. 40 and MCQ is 40. Uh, could you once more explain on the FDP? Okay. Uh, FDP, Faculty Development Program Certificate, you will get it. Uh, previously, it was 200 rupees only. I don't know whether they have enhanced it. Murli will be able to clarify that. Uh, is it the same amount or is it increased? I think Murli? it is 1000 uh, plus 100, sir. 100 ah, rupees. Okay, okay. But I need to uh, confirm it. Ah, ah, ah. But it's a nominal amount uh, just to in, uh, confirm that you are really interested in getting it. And after you pass the exam, then you will write to them for if. No, sir. Right? No, sir. Ah. No, sir. Already, ah. uh, while registering for the examination itself, they have to pay for the FDP uh, thing also. Okay, okay. Uh, excuse me, sir, uh, yeah. because uh, I have just missed out on that. Is there any possibility, like, is it possible, like, now that I have not paid that extra amount? Right. Uh, most probably, no, madam. Uh, there is uh, no option to uh, register for that FDP thing. But anyway, okay. confirm it with the ATM office and uh, inform you okay. the announcement. All right. Now. Okay, you can because also, I, was not, I was not sure about it. That's why I did not know. Uh -huh. See, you can, I'm also putting in the chat the mail ID. It is support at iatm.ac.in, uh, iatm. right? The support okay. at the rate of nptel.iatm.ac.in. Uh -huh. uh -huh. So support okay. at the rate of nptel.iatm.ac.in. Nptel. So yes. you can also write to them 
So uh, currently they'll be so busy, but uh, okay. you uh, wait for some time and send a reminder. So they are likely to get back to you for any other queries other than whatever we have said, all related to exam centers, everything you have to write to them. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so uh, this uh, Aryan is asking, watch is not, how do you know the time? The time clock will be shown on your computer and that time is the one that will be followed. So there is no tension at all. Okay. So, uh, Roshan Kumar, how can I increase natural tone of speaking? My tone is slow. Only by uh, practicing, you have to speak and try to create opportunities where you can speak more and more. But there are uh, uh, practices also, like uh, uh, to increase your tone. Uh, actors and uh, uh, drama personalities try to do that. But I would suggest just keep practicing it. Uh, please confirm exam date, uh, time and venue for Delhi students. Is there a difference, uh, Murli? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. It uh, is a general 24th only. 24th only, right? 24th only. But as you said, a few of the candidates uh, 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 might have got uh, 23rd also uh, okay. because of allotment issues. Uh, but I will just confirm uh, to the IATM team and uh, respond uh, in the announcement tomorrow morning, sir. Okay. So, uh, Sheikh Harris, and uh, I think there was one more question that was asked whether the exam will be difficult. What is the level of exam compared to the previous? Uh, if you found the assignment to be difficult, you may find the exam to be difficult. Okay. But if you, it depends on how you find the assignment questions. The exam questions are exactly going to be at that level only. But I would say the exam is not going to be that difficult because already 50% of the questions are known to you. And then the remaining are also known to you because it's very difficult to ask any question out of syllabus. Only the situations we are recreating. Okay, so different situations where you have to apply. So uh, uh, there are people who have just done the assignments well and then uh, they have, uh, I know some of them from our own institute, some uh, known staff. They have just uh, uh, spent their time without going back, but they were thorough when they were giving assignments and then they just looked at the transcript and they were in the top five also. Okay, So it also depends on your thoroughness, how you are looking at it. So FDP, some are asking is a faculty development program certificate, which is helpful to teaching faculty. Uh, so normally they have to go out for a week and do it but this is like you have the cake and eat it too so they are giving an additional benefit they have discussed with the mhrd and then they are giving this benefit too so and then uh, uh, i and i am doing bachelor degree in tourism can i have any opportunity for masters in it yes definitely why not uh, vishay Maurya, how to be free from the depression so it's a huge uh, question but to Answer it very quickly. Uh, live in the reality. Literally go to the sunlight for uh, 20 minutes to half an hour at least. Do some mild activity, whether it is cycling, swimming or jogging. Get up early in the morning. Avoid all these gadgets, watching like uh, uh, late night series, binge watching. And then participate in some kind of uh, extracurricular activity. So... And keep reading a lot. So many of the writers overcome their depression by reading. So that also is a, a very good antidepressant. Uh, so what will be the exam time of afternoon? Goody is asking, uh, like be there by one o'clock, two o'clock. I think the exam will start. So there's checking will start from one. And Amrita is a compulsory to attend six out of eight. Uh, it is not compulsory in the sense like you need to have 10 out of 25%. Okay. So even if you get the 10 from the less one, it is fine. Okay. So as per your thing, I think you are eligible for uh, this one. Now, uh, Abhirami and Bandana, you have noted some frequently and asked questions, right? You answer and then we can go to the Excel sheet. Uh, maybe like Abhirami start and then Bandana another one. You, you yourself, if you have identified, you just... Uh, uh, sir, did you mean the uh, from the Excel sheet or... Uh, no, the... have you identified some other frequently asked ones you want to answer other than like 
what is okay. being discussed yeah okay so so uh, in the excel sheet uh, there were few questions about dopamine and ecstasy uh, so the question is about the difference between dopamine and ecstasy so uh, it all dopamine as we all know is a feel good hormone and it is a neurotransmitter and ecstasy is a feeling of great happiness so dopamine the difference is that um, ecstasy would not cure you of depression and dopamine as a neurotransmitter is useful uh, in habit formation so it shouldn't really depend on how you feel or what you define as ecstasy uh so that would be the answer so uh, actually this i saw also the question the person wants to know whether when you have this dopamine you also feel ecstatic okay, okay. that way yes it also gives you a great joy when you are uh, uh, using it so that part is correct yeah vandana did you note something unmute yeah unmute it yeah Yes, sir. There was this question about cyborg, and how, like people uh -huh. were confused that cyborgs carry multiple could carry multiple meanings. So the commonly understood meaning of cyborg is that it's a fusion between the biology and technology. But uh, according to Donna Haraway, which is also mentioned in the like lecture, any uh, like we have already become cyborgs, like all of us, when if, if, like every time we have depended on some kind of technical in innovations, technological innovations for our day to day to day activities, we have already then we have already that means that we have already become cyborg, which is like, there in the lectures. And then uh, the lecture also mentions Marcel McLuhan, who has said that uh, like all the, about these extensions uh, about using pens or spectacles for any kind of um, day to day activities. So that could also mean that we have become cyborg. So it's not just what uh, uh, the like popular media shows us that cyborg with, with, uh, cyborg means always uh, somewhat a half robot, half human being sort of a way. It is. Uh, it could be anyone who uses any kind of uh, technological enhancement for to in, uh, to enhance our lifestyle or to uh, make our daily life uh, easy. So that could also mean us. Uh, uh, like cyborg so that was the confusion which was there uh, i think last uh, uh, two three weeks prior in the forum was a lot of people were asking this this question so i just wanted to clarify this uh, there was also a question on uh, what is biotech so i would like to say bio indicates life living organism so when we refer to cyborg not being purely mechanical but it's also a biotic component what we mean is like living organisms have also integrated with machine okay so that is what is meant as uh, biotic yeah abirami did you note something yes sir so there are many questions about soft skills like what okay. soft skills so uh, it is also like a recurring theme of our course so mm -hmm. as we all know soft skills are interpersonal skills or people skills we are we are using several terms for it such as communication skills for example so it helps us uh, as as individuals to interact effectively with others and to communicate well and so the, that brings us to the difference between hard skills and uh, soft, soft skills so hard skills are more technical skills that are specific to a job for example if you are a plumber you know what to do or if you have a certain job if you're an engineer you know certain things are to be done which are very specific to your area but soft skill for example uh, are some things that uh, some skills that we can uh, use in any field it can be in a professional setting as well as in a personal space for example your communication skills if you have good soft skills and if you are an expert in your area a person would uh, or a client would definitely prefer someone who has like good excellent soft skills so these are skills that are useful in any area and will enhance your personality so that is the main difference yeah, just to add to it, there is a question on what is the importance on uh, of uh, soft skills. So uh, I would tell an illustrative example. Uh, there is a student of mine uh, who wrote an email to another uh, teacher, faculty, and then got a very rude response. Okay. Now, 
this is likely to happen to you. You write something to a person and the person is responding rudely to you. And the same person is responding to another one in a very nice, soft, respectable manner. What is the difference? Was there something that is missing in what you wrote? Or you said something like uh, there is also another question that is asked uh, in the Excel sheet about difference in body language, nonverbal communication. For example, the thumbs up uh, gesture. Okay. So in one country, it means as victory in and considered a positive one, confirmation, affirmative one. Certain other parts, it's considered as a kind of root gesture, like I did it. Okay, I a kind of aggressive gesture and considered a negative. So you really do not know normally as you communicate whether you are doing something non-verbally or not doing something that is hurting the other person. So soft skills, unlike like mechanical skills or welding skills, which will tell you by an operation manual, this will tell you through experience, tell you to learn things through observation and introspection, identifying by causing a self-awareness, like what skills you need to develop to present yourself in a better manner, where your communication is very effective and the other person understand your intention correctly. You actually didn't want to hurt the other person, but the other person feels hurt and shouts at you. Can you really develop certain skills by which even if the other person, like as uh, uh, this uh, Dr. Kuheli was uh, asking, the other person is so angry and can you calm down the other person? Yes, it is possible. So enhancing your soft skills. So soft skills will act as this greasing the silent aspect of communication, which is much ignored. But if you try to pay attention to it, life will be very happy. It will go very smooth. So we have also discussed about much of the unhappiness in the world being one's unable to, inability to communicate effectively with the other person. If only you are able to communicate effectively, any situation, interview situation, you communicate effectively and your soft skills are very highly enhanced. Your body language is perfect. You will get the job. If you, there is uh, two friends, if you are able to communicate, the friendship will be thickening between marital relationships, husband and wife, family relationship, brother, sister. Now, all the time it centers on communication, which is again relying on soft skills. So that is why it is very important. And uh, yeah, uh, Bandana, if you noted something, you can go on. Yes, sir. I would also like to add to this thing because there was this yeah. question. There were these questions mm -hmm. about how to make friends. So soft skills will also help you to make friends because there were like uh, co uh, because when you are good in soft skills, you will know how to talk to people, how to approach to people, make sure that you do not res uh, you you respect their boundaries while trying to be friends with them. So uh, when you want to be friends with someone, you have you have to make sure that you are respecting that person. You are a good listener. And also you are communicating well. All these things can or qualities can be developed only if we have good soft skills. Because soft skills include all these qualities. So because there were some questions about uh, how people find it difficult to become friends with strangers and all. So it, it, in order to in order for us to become try become friends with strangers, we need to have certain soft skills to make sure that when we approach these uh, strangers, they do not get offended. So uh, those kind of qualities we can actually develop through soft skills. Soft skills. That's what I wanted to add. Actually, uh, even with a stranger, just to continue with what uh, she said, uh, think about yourself. Whom would you like to approach? If someone is very rigid and not maintaining eye contact with you and then uh, uh, creating a kind of intimidating, fearsome personality, you would rather avoid the person. But you just looked at the other person and the other person is just smiling. Okay. And then says, hi, good morning. Uh, are you traveling? So useless questions. But then the other person is initiating or oh, you feel like saying something and then the other person says, oh, you like this. I also like this one. Okay. And then the con conversation continues. So proactive. So one more question that is asked is uh, uh, seven habits that are being discussed by Stephen Covey. I'll come to that. 
So the topmost habit that uh, Stephen Covey talks about being proactive, like you take the initiative first, you be cordial, and then you'll be able to start friendship even with a stranger. Uh, in the meanwhile, Janani Vijayan uh, says, uh, uh, how to develop vocabulary easily to speak or write, really enjoyable discourse. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, Janani, there are plenty of vocabulary books you should work on. But the one that I will strongly recommend is one Norman Lewis, Word Power Made Easy. I'm going to type it. Okay. That is the best one. People who go to GRE, TOEFL. So that's a book they uh, read it because the book doesn't let you memorize mug up words, but it tells you using the etymological way of understanding vocabulary. So, for example, uh, it will take a word pathos. And it will tell you it means feeling. And it will teach you a string of words associated with pathos. Okay. So sympathy. So pathos, pathy. So meaning feeling. Sympathy. So same feeling. Empathy, feeling into. Antipathy. Anti, it will go to the root. Opposite feeling. Apathy, not having any feeling at all. So that's the best book that you should be uh, using it and then work it uh, it's it has some exercises also you should be able to work it out okay uh, so uh mohak kumar says uh, please share youtube link in this session uh murli can you put it in the one uh, uh, it here? is already given in the announcements sir. same youtube link sir okay but like maybe if you put it in the chat will they be able to check sure, out sir, sure sir yeah, also just, uh -huh. After the after the session, we will be uh, creating one feedback form along with the YouTube link. Uh, and okay. Make okay. An but so, in the chat, uh, I will put the link, sir. Yeah. So, Raushan Kumar, uh, thank you so much for uh, saying this. He says, like, sir, the discussion forum of this course is really good. We had got an answer to all of our questions very fast. So, thanks a lot, all of you. You have done really well in this course. Actually, the your thanks should go to all the three of them who are here, Abhirami, Vandana, and Murli, uh, for the promptness as well as the uh, thoughtful questions. So Murli was completely taking care of your any technical related ones and he used to respond to you promptly. Abhirami and Vandana are the ones who are uh, responding to your content-based questions. Only when it is at a difficult level or when they wanted more information, they are getting back to you. And I should tell you, mostly like I had very less opportunity to even uh, bother to answer it because some of the answers they had given honestly were even better than what I would have given. So they were giving you very detailed, elaborate answers with more examples. So we are really happy that you are able to uh, understand the codes using it. And as you say, like, yes, feedback is very important in communication, the promptness, so you understand and then you go to the next level. Thank, thank you so much for saying this. Okay. So Goody wants to know the difference between nature and nurture. Uh, it is the difference uh, between something that is developed naturally and nurture simply means culture, civilization, something that is uh, uh, told to you. For example, uh, naturally a person may have developed certain body language. Okay. Uh, the way a person smiles, for example, may come to the person naturally, okay. Whereas saying namaste, okay, or handshake, so these are all nurtured, culturally given to you. So the uh, question was discussed in relation to soft skills, whether it is natural or whether it could be nurtured, particularly body language. Most of the body language, especially the civilized kind of body language, the universal ones can actually be nurtured. Like you can learn it, okay. But the problem with body language, nonverbal communication is there are some thing which is coming from innermost thoughts, which unless you modify your thoughts, you will not be able to control your behavior. So that is where nonverbal communication may sometimes let down the person. The person wants to say something through words, but body language will actually say something contradictory. So, but having said that, we discussed about that in terms of whether you are able to develop skills or not, and you will be able to develop it. 
uh, Sanchita says uh, using a lot of hand gestures while talking or explaining puts a bad impression. No. So uh, in our uh, course, it has been always told that use your gestures so that it correlates with what you think verbally. Okay. It's only when you when people think you're overdoing it and you're do giving a lot of gestures and it doesn't correlate, then they may feel like, okay, it's not correlating. But otherwise, the more <laughs> lively you are, you will be having greater impact with the audience. So it's really good. You should be able to develop that. Uh, and then nursing around every assignment, we get assignment answers, but assignment answers for zero. Uh, I think, uh, so zero assignment, uh, the answers are so simple and self-explanatory, like they're like dummy uh, questions. So uh, that is the reason they have not given. And that is just to check you, like what is hard skill, soft skill like that. So you don't have to worry much about it. And uh, Madhumala says, when do you, not get along with your teammates how can soft skill mobilize uh, resources uh, mostly like uh, what we are trying to tell you so developing some of the qualities and particularly we are discussing more in enhancing soft skills where how you will be have uh, you will be able to develop more friends by certain uh, qualities okay uh, Abhirami or Bandana, you want to add something more? It's related uh, to what you are discussing. Yeah. Yes, sir. I think uh, teamwork is also can be termed as a soft skill because uh, con we have talked about uh, conflict resolution in the course, also time management and also in uh, emotional intelligence because uh, when you are working in a team, uh, you need to learn how to communicate your disagreements also in an effective manner. It shouldn't be rude. At the same time, you have to be clear and assertive at the same time. So if you develop that skill, you can work better in a team and as a team. Yeah. Uh, Madhumala and uh, one more person wants to know FDP. FDP is Faculty Development Program, helpful to teacher uh, candidates who can get one, one week equivalent certificate, but they should have paid the amount while paying the exam fees itself. In case they have not done and they are interested, they can write to the email ID we have put here, support at nptel uh, at iitm.ac. Okay. Uh, Pranjali uh, Vaishnav is asking about uh, ability to speak without nervousness so she says like it becomes very difficult for me to address when there are a number of people listening to me uh, we have huge session on how to become good effective speaker in enhancing soft skills please take the course but very quickly as i have said before practice 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 from word starting with hello to last word thank you write it read it practice it before the mirror video record it, see your body language and go to the venue. Like that is the thing that will make you reduce the fear. If you have to give a talk in some auditorium, try to go to the auditorium before others would come and familiarize with that. Okay. And it is true for anyone initially public speaking is not that easy. Uh, you should read Mahatma Gandhi's My Experiment with Truth and Gandhi describes how his first speech was a disaster. After even preparing everything, he, exp uh, he explains it so nicely. He says the word came up to his throat, but he felt a choking in the throat and he fumbled and he didn't utter a single word. He felt so bad. But you can understand how he developed that fear, how he overcame that by doing it repeatedly and influence the entire world through his ideology. So that is the thing, like nervousness, all nervousness is helpful because it will also secrete a hormone in your body, the so-called adrenaline, and help you to do better. So think positively, practice, and you'll be able to come out of it. Priya says, uh, uh, Professor, as an introvert, I often find it challenging to communicate effectively. What strategies or techniques would you recommend for introverts like me to develop strong communication skills? Uh, would you believe if I say I'm an introvert? Okay. So uh, introverts would communicate, I would say, much effectively, more effectively than extroverts. Extroverts tend to speak more, use more extroverts 
and then uh, audience tend to lose interest than introverts who can speak with a measured precise tone okay the tips will be the same one which i have told before preparation thorough preparation know what you are going to talk do some research and then practice okay and as i said many leaders you would not believe many great leaders mahatma gandhi whom i just mentioned he was he, he was the most introverted personality he again read experiments with truth immediately after the bell rings there was this physical education and he wa he was so shy and reserved and introvert he will run away to home after that bell and he will avoid physical education later he realizes that i made a big mistake and he talks about holistic education but he says it was because of his introverted nature he missed it but the self awareness that came to him that made him develop himself as an excellent speaker so that awareness is important and hope like we have given that awareness through the course okay uh, amrita thanks for the previous answer thank you uh, can we know our assignment mark actually amrita all your assignment marks are already there immediately 11:59 you post 12 o'clock you get the marks only can you tell them how to see the marks maybe except, except for the eighth assignment uh, all the other uh, assignment scores are visible in the progress page sir Uh, because the due date for the eighth assignment is on twentieth uh, of this month, uh, so on Thursday they will get the score for that also. Okay, but maybe some of them do not know how to see the uh, in the progress page. Uh, let me just uh, open uh, one screen and uh, share, sir. Just a second, sir. Ah, uh ha -huh. ha! You keep it ready. We will answer other questions and then you can show it to them. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, Sanchita says thank you, sir, for clearing our doubts. Also, thank you for whole team for this discussion forum. Yeah, it's been very helpful. Yeah, thank you also. Uh, uh, yeah, the team uh, has been taking extra interest in answering all your questions. So, yeah. Ah, you see, like uh, Murli is showing, and where you can see the. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. So, so Murli has not uh, answered many questions. So Murli's score is very I'm low. I'm from student account. Uh, I didn't get okay. much uh, from this account. Uh, okay. So in the progress page, you will get to see the scores. Okay. Okay. So I hope it is clear, and you will be able to see that immediately uh, once the deadline is over. Okay. Yes. As he says, only eighth one is remaining. All other uh, score you should be able to see. In fact, people are seeing and then uh, discussing in the forum about. Uh, Answers and all that. Uh, Narsingh Rao wants to know who corrects our exam answers. Any person or a computer? Actually, human beings have created the answers. Computer is helping us to assess it. Okay, and then again we are checking the answers, and then if you have any issues, we are getting back. So we are still the masters. Computer is our uh, slave that is helping in assessing quickly and. Uh, calculating the marks quickly, so you don't have to worry about it. There is a human behind uh, all this thing. The so much of discussion we have had before even uploading the questions. So many times we try to recheck. It's multiple rechecking so that when you feel like it looks like it is machine done, so it's because a lot of human efforts have gone behind. Uh, Pranjali, thank you so much for the response. It's absolutely an amazing course. Yeah, thank you, Pranjali. And good day. Today's children are becoming smart, but along with them, they are also becoming impatient. How can uh, overcome this problem using soft skills? Uh, children see you, then uh, what you say. So your body language is going to influence the children. If you sit before uh, TV or you are watching your favorite program and getting irritated with them, they would have imbibed that quality from you. Okay, so the only thing they say is, like, uh, if you want the there are uh, families where the children go to bed eight uh, thirty. I ask how all the parents go and sleep at eight thirty, nine thirty when they sleep, children also sleep. But if the parents are also watching something till one o'clock, children also. Hide from the parents and do something, and then this irritability, impatience comes because of that. So, uh, Steve Jobs and uh, Bill Gates, they never gave even computer uh, till the children reached a certain matured stage. So today, parents, 
instead of saying like you look at moon and we give you food you look at the animals you look at the birds today they are like showing cartoons and other things in mobile and then they are becoming mobile dependent from like the time even before they start speaking or walking so find out whether you have done that for your uh, children and what is the cause for their impatience try to make them come out of this addictions and then you teach them what is patience by your own example so then they will learn it uh, munur uh, rahman says thank you and your team for this wonderful course thank you i just want to know more about enhancing presentation skill stage yeah uh, more please uh, join the course like i have said enough at this stage uh, please join the enhancing soft skills course we have complete week sessions on that uh varsha please go to the top and check how many mcqs but very quickly 40 mcqs 40 msq and then 22 or false okay aryan all my classmates in college are mobards addicted to smartphones but i don't have any social media and i use phone less than 10 minutes a day except when there is online class so i am unique nobody talk to me and make me isolated what should i uh, uh, do make them talk to me so first of all uh, aryan you uh, don't feel bad about this because those who are addicted already it's very difficult to reduce their time to 10 minutes like you so if they are not talking they are living in their own uh, introverted bubbled kind of uh, world you don't have to worry much about it the fact that you are attending this session and rest of your friends are not attending so there are many of this kind of sessions which you can uh, give up what they are doing and then benefit by that but apart from that uh, if like uh, Uh, the thinking that nobody is talking to me and making me isolated so uh, you don't have to feel it like you also volunteer there are times when they are uh, out and then try to just interact with them as i said in the beginning just be proactive so bandana and abirami were also giving you some uh, suggestions so go back to the previous one where we were telling how to make friendship with strangers okay and then arihara putran really this course educate us entertain us provoke and influence us thank you so much fatima is there any previous year question papers available uh, there is no need for previous year but i would suggest you go back to the assignments all the answers are already there in the assignments okay and as morley says as per nptel guidelines previous one is not shy okay now uh, abirami and vandana have you missed anything in the excel sheet we can discuss uh, quickly here so one person has asked what is monochronic and what is polychronic uh, perspective related to time so monochronic as the word itself indicates it's single minded thinking about time polychronic allowing multiple people the example given in the video itself is like most of the westerners like europeans particularly britishers for example americans they are all very monochronic they ration their time for them time is money and then they work in chunks of time they plan they uh, keep appointments very sacrosanct and then do, they do not let any interruptions they do one thing at a time so poly polychronic south asians most of us we are all polychronic because we are okay with interruptions okay so we uh, even when you are so busy if a friend comes and says come let's go and have ice cream you will feel okay i'll just delay the assignment but i'll go and take it so a monochronic person will say stop i am i'm not coming don't disturb me and the person may even get angry so polychronic people value more about people monochronic people monochronic uh, sense of uh, time to people value more about time and maybe sometimes less about uh, relationships neither bad nor good okay monochronic uh, suits today's corporate culture if you go one minute late uh, there is a biometric or punch card system you will lose your thing so polychronic you can tell the manager sir my cycle tire got punctured i missed the bus so they may still give contingency to that uh, 
but if you are working in a work culture you need to know which culture they are following and if you are a polychronic person and they have monochronic schedules and deadlines then it should not clash so that is uh, that is in that context it has been told to you. yeah uh, Mandana, uh, Abhirami, anything else we missed here uh, you want to add? So we, I think we discussed most of the questions. There is a question about the list of uh, soft skills, uh, a total list, but I think since it is, we cannot provide an exhaustive list and we discuss most of it in our course. Uh, other than that, there's a question about nonverbal communication. I think you have also touched upon that, sir. The, okay. About, uh, okay. So uh, there was this uh, uh, question on uh, uh, Stephen Covey's yes, sir. Uh, uh, seven habits. So we have actually talked about, uh, I think, uh, two habits. Begin with the ending mind, that is second habit, and fifth one, seek first to understand, then to be understood. But uh, uh, to quickly know all other ones, the first one is be proactive. Second is begin with the end in mind. And third is put first things first, prioritizing. Fourth is think win-win. And uh, you know, like we have discussed about this in conflict resolution. Fifth is seek first to understand, then to be understood. Six is synergize. And seven is sharpen the sock. There is another question on intonation and meta language. So intonation is the rise and fall of the voice uh, in speaking. Like it's the stress, the pitch. So uh, the way uh, uh, you are putting stress on certain parts of a question will determine the uh, meaning it. So if you, if you like, for example, do you want coffee? Okay. And then if you ask the same thing, do you want coffee? And if you ask, do you want coffee? Okay, or tea, or can you really take coffee? So depending on the place where you stress, the meaning can change. So one has to be very careful. Uh, another person has asked the question about meta language. Uh, although the word looks very complex, it's not a very complex uh, kind of thought. It simply means the language we used to discuss decide language, like the grammatical components like verb, noun, adjective. So they are all part of meta language. Okay. So any other thing uh, did you note? Uh, well, I uh, think we have addressed all of it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there's a question on uh, uh, this husband, wife, uh, divorce, uh, an example. And uh, uh, this is from Nursing Rao only. Uh, so for putting up the solutions, interpersonal conflict uh, uh, is asking whether we can use brainstorming, choosing a conducive environment, active listening. Yes, yes, exactly. You are right. And then uh, there was also this question like, uh, what is listen without prejudice? So uh, listen without prejudice would mean like listen to someone with an open mind. Okay. So uh, someone is uh, coming to you and then... Uh, starts answering something, do not have preconceived thoughts. Like this person has come to ask money. I should be very wary of uh, answering this person or uh, this person is a liar. This person is a fraud. This person is coming from this community. So he may be manipulating me. So do not have anything. Like in all places, there are good and bad. Listen without prejudice is do not have any pre judged opinion on the person, okay, which is very difficult because psychologically, if uh, someone uh, uh, with the uh, with the brown colored dress who looked like a worker, he came and asked for money and then he didn't return it to you, your mind will always look at so, those kind of people and think like they are cheaters. And next time a really genuine person comes, your mind will get into the prejudice. So listen without Prejudice means like listen without forming any judgment. Okay. Uh, exam pattern is asked. We have uh, discussed that. No negative uh, uh, questions. And then uh, uh, about nonverbal, already we have uh, discussed. Okay. 
Uh, the other things like telephonic skills, GD, and this thing we are discussing in enhancing soft skills, we recommend that you join this. Okay. Uh, most of the thing is again related to exam and then uh, uh, so uh, there is this uh, question while explaining or telling some information, how much hand gestures to be used. So it is okay to be expressive. Yes, be expressive and uh, uh, which hand gesture is right wrong? There is nothing like right wrong gestures, but do not use anything that might be misinterpreted by others as rude or aggressive. So, which we have discussed with a set of examples there. So, that's all there in the Excel sheet. And here, any other uh, questions which have come? So, the exam questions will all be objective. It will not be subjective. So, Madhimita, explain about EQ, IQ and the importance of spiritual quotient, which is most important for personality and success. Uh, go to the first week lesson about uh, SQ. But very quickly, EQ is emotional quotient, IQ is intelligent quotient. Uh, so far, like uh, engineers, technicians, and then entire educational system was relying on IQ, intelligence only. Okay. And then came Daniel Goldman with his book, emotional intelligence and then people realize that emotion plays a crucial role than intelligence in being an effective communicator and becoming successful and happy in your life. Recent days book by Diana Johar on spiritual intelligence as the spiritual capital that you can have has caused an awareness about another level of intelligence which starts with the emotional but combines with what we normally Ignore as the soul. Okay. Heart, emotion, mind, uh, intellect, and then there is this soul. So the soul is able to connect or give a kind of holistic vision to uh, situations around us, and that is looked at as uh, spiritual intelligence. Uh, K. Radha Rao is asking how to remember authors. You don't have to remember authors. We will be uh, giving you choices, but you should have understood the concept. So, and uh, like Abhirami Bandana Murli, if you want to add something, you can add it. Sir, so there are no direct questions about authors, like you said earlier. Those will be situation based only, and there will be options to choose from. So, if they remember the concept properly, they will be able to answer those questions. And uh, like, those of you who are connected in Zoom, if you want to uh, unmute and ask, you can ask questions because we are going to wind up. Madhumala De, thank you, sir, and the entire team. Ever grateful. We are also grateful to you for doing the course and uh, we are happy that you joined and we hope like you will join for the other course also. So, ma'am, you want to ask something or uh, Narsingh Rao, sir, you want to ask something before we wind up? Because we have answered all the questions. Okay, Anita, worth attending this course. Thank you. So, so credit transfer, uh, will we get any credit uh, from this? Uh, credit transfer depends on your university. Okay. In some places, they have said it will be equivalent to two credits. Some will say three credits. Some also gives just zero credit, but makes it compulsory. So it depends on what your university has decided as a credit transfer. And you have to talk to your uh, local NPTEL coordinator. Uh, right, Murli? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, there may be this uh, spark, right? There will be one coordinator in the university. Yes, there will be a person called SPOC and a mentor. Uh, uh, they can uh, contact uh, them and then find out uh, what are the credit system followed uh, in their respective institutes. Yeah. So any other doubts, anything that you want to ask? So again, same questions are asked. No negative marks. Okay. So Aboli says, thank you. Very informative. Thank you. So Anita, this course transforms uh, me. May God bless abundantly over your team. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, where are the job opportunities, soft skills like... Uh, uh, I would say I am in IIT Kanpur and uh, I'm here because of my soft skills. Okay, what else you want to know? And there are plenty of uh, uh, people whom I interview. 
So they are all uh, saying like, uh, not only my course, the other courses which they are doing, they feel like it has greatly helped. Uh, there are people who always feel like it's not just uh, uh, that you should be helped in uh, doing your examination well or getting your career, but there are like uh, uh, occasional light moments like people have acknowledged uh, the, co the conflict between mother-in-law and daughter-in-law at home got resolved after doing this course on soft skills. So uh, principal and the teacher got resolved after doing this and uh, uh, dealing with an aggressive boss and uh, soft employee got resolved. So those are other great uh, benefits that you get as a lifetime uh, bonus to you. So that you should also try to focus on. So don't just look at the job opportunities or as such, but once you are imbibed, once you are endowed with soft skills, it's like a life uh, skill set. Okay, so that is going to help you throughout your life. Okay. Thank you all, and uh, uh, if, unless uh, Sanchita, Dr. Kuheli, if you want to uh, say something before we conclude. Yeah. Yes, sir. thank you so much. Uh, uh, actually, uh, soft skills is not just uh, concerned with job prospects, but I feel in any academic, any workplace, be it academic or otherwise, I think soft skill is very, very important to maintain a harmonious environment. So that was my understanding. And so just to add a little more, I think now the, with the new education policy 2020, there is also an emphasis on soft skill through the holistic Correct. education that we are talking about. Yeah. So yeah. students, teachers, and all aspects, I think soft skill is very, very important. So once again, I thank Sir uh, Ravichandran and the entire team for a very wonderful course. I'm truly enlightened. Thank you so much. Yeah, incidentally, uh, uh, I was in Nehu last month on a selection okay. committee and uh, okay. uh, they, had, they had clearly asked, um, they are giving marks for the NPTEL courses you have done. Okay. And uh, I should tell you, like, almost none of the applicants have done it. And the very few who have done it had an upper scoring in the uh, points. And, you know, like doing NPTEL uh, course is not that difficult, but uh, so today the government has added NPTEL as a credit point in your promotion selection. So if you ask like why NPTEL is important. Yeah. Uh, Sanchita, where are you connecting from? Sir, from Kanpur. Oh, great. Okay. So. Uh, thank you, sir, for your time and the way you have guided us. But the thing is, I've always uh, wanted to teach or do something like that. But I had a long career gap. So when I just started off uh, things, I tried to brush up things. And I came across this course because I thought somewhere I'm not able to communicate well or pick up things well. Well, while going through the course, I have learned a lot. It is just that it's still in my mind. What next? Means after doing this course, this is enhancing me. It is... Uh, doing all the good things to me, bringing up good habits. I've learned uh, body language, everything, communication, but I need to improve more. But what next I need to do? I really need to be guided. I'm a little kind of uh, not sure what the next step should be. No, the next step, I will say, do enhancing soft skills course. We are going to give you more uh, uh, inputs on this. Okay. But uh, the other than that, uh, apply what you have learned. Okay. Uh, one thing I tell is, like, for example, if you have understood how to resolve a conflict in the course also, it is said, like, you volunteer to resolve a conflict in the family, uh, in your neighborhood. Okay, so you be the calm person, you be the person people will run around when there is a problem. Okay, so we all have uh, uh, someone in the family, someone in the uh, department, someone whom we can always go and we always feel like this person, if we go... Uh, the person is very calm, collected, and then is able to give us the right kind of answer. Become that person. Okay. And by becoming, you will become the better version, the best version of yourself. So, For a professional approach also. You, I Like I would say your communication skills is so good. Like it's excellent already. Soft skills is like topping the cake. It's like added. Okay. And then... Whatever gap that has happened, I don't want to like discuss about it, but start something new. Okay. And I would suggest like read this Stephen Covey's seven habits. The first habit is being proactive. Maybe I would recommend you to 
be proactive like try more okay reach out okay and apply yourself yeah. all the best thank you sir thank you so much so uh, if there are no questions uh, we will wind it up and uh, uh, orion uh, thank you sir the course helped me to understand my present personality level and gave me confidence that i i already have good soft skills but i have to improve further i extend my gratitude to you sir for giving me guidance for my personal improvement yeah thank you aryan thank you all the participants for uh, taking your time and uh, always we plan one hour and it exceeds like we are one and a half hour time we are very happy that you joined us and we could clear your doubts wish you all the very best and uh, best wishes for applying this in your life and uh, living a very happy and peaceful life yeah thank you so much Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for your valuable time. Thank you, Bandana and Abhirami. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank all. you sir. So, I, I also take this opportunity to thank you all of you, Murli, Bandana <laughs> and Abhirami. <laughs> thank you, sir. Okay. Thank so, uh, let's disconnect and uh, leave. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Bye. I will stop the streaming, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.